い、皆さん、こんにちは、れいなです。今日はまた、名古屋駅の新幹線口に来てます。ここでバンバン外国人が出てきますので、今日も外国人にインタビューをしたいと思います。はい、やりましょう。はい、my name is Lena。え、what are your names。I'm Caleb。and I'm Michael。and where are you from。I'm from Philadelphia、mm-hmm. and Arizona. Okay, is it your first time in Japan? It is. Well, mine, not Your、this. first time? Not mine. How many times have you been here? Second time. Second time, okay. So you're here traveling? Yep. Yeah.、Um, you stood out because you're wearing these very nice,、um, what are they called? Taka?、Uh, uh, happy. Happy? Yeah. yeah. So where did you get your happy? Or、uh, why are you wearing them? Our friend got them at a thrift store in Tokyo. Okay, very cool. Yeah.、Uh, so you are totally going with the Japanese style while traveling here. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think, I got Naruto. Naruto t shirt as well. Cool. <laughs> nice. So, where have you been so far here in Japan?、Uh, just Tokyo. Okay. And then we stayed in Onsen last night. Nice. And then Kyoto tonight, and then Osaka.、Uh, so, you just stopped here in Nagoya. Are you going to do something here in Nagoya, or are you traveling on? Yeah, we're gonna see the castle and the shrine, and then we'll, we'll go to Kyoto later tonight. Okay, very cool. Have you had any kind of culture shocks when you came here to Japan? It's the most different place I've ever been. Okay. But I don't know, I think、not、it's、really. fine. Not, not a culture <laughs> shock. Okay, cool. This is enjoyable. Yeah? Is there anything that you experienced here, anything physical or non physical, that you would like to take home with you to the US? <laughs> Everyone's very polite and respectful and clean. So I think all、oh, yeah. of that. y o u r e just <laughs> clean. We can take all of that. We can take their culture and just bring it over. <laughs> okay, nice. Cities here are much, much cleaner than in the US. Yeah. It's like a really big difference.、Yeah. Mm-hmm. When you get used to it, I don't know,、um, how long are you going to be traveling? About two weeks. Two weeks. So after two weeks, you will come back home and you'll be surprised by how dirty everything is. <laughs> I mean, I live there and I'm always surprised by how dirty everything is. So yeah. Let's talk about food. Do you have any kind of favorite Japanese food or anything you tried that you really, really liked? Maybe we'll start with you.、Uh, I like sushi, I like okonomiyaki.、Uh, have you tried anything you didn't like? Not off the top of my head. I had a fish paste cheese ball, <laughs> which I thought was very bad.、Uh, yeah. I, I, also, I also had wagyu beef last night,、nice. which is the best. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah, I agree with the. Not, not a big fan of those either. <laughs> so, yeah. 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 Try anything and then you can make up your own mind. I yeah, think that's、yeah. the best to, <laughs> thing to do.、Yeah. How about drinks? Any favorite drinks? Beer, sake? We drink a lot of sake. So- sake yeah? is our yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what has been your favorite experience so far or impressed you above anything, anything else? I think probably the onsen is really cool. So it's, the, it's like the oldest hotel in the world. Oh, so, no like,、way. we like, stayed there, and、oh, cool. the, the views were like amazing. And it, I, yeah, it was just a really cool experience because you know, you walk around in your little, in your little robe. And,、uh-huh. and <laughs> was it very expensive to stay there? It wasn't too bad, actually. Yeah, yeah it was like pretty reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. 250 US dollars a person. That's, yeah, that's reasonable. I mean, now with the exchange rate, it's Way cheaper for you to travel <laughs> yeah, yeah, in yeah, general. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. yeah, that sounds reasonable for the oldest、yeah. hotel in the world, right? Yeah, everything is a lot cheaper than it would ordinarily be just because of like perfect timing for <laughs> you, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. So, your opinion of Japanese people? The greatest. The greatest. <laughs> very, very nice, very respectful, very friendly, very awesome. Have you had any interactions with anyone that? You know, st- st- stand out. So earlier today, he couldn't figure out how to get into the luggage thing at our last train station.、Mm-hmm. And some old Japanese ladies who had been at the onsen with us were like watching him and like laughing a little bit. And then when he, <laughs> when he finally got it, everyone started clapping. <laughs> That's kind of mean, actually. <laughs> They shouldn't no, just no, help. No, it, it, it was funny. Judging from your t shirt as well, I'm assuming you like anime. Uh, so, you kind of had some kind of an opinion of Japan before coming here? Was it the same or did it change?、Uh, my parents lived here for four years, so、okay. they told me how wonderful it was、mm-hmm. when they lived here 20 years ago. Okay.、Uh, so, I already had that in my mind, but I, I just like anime. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> I wonder if your parents, did they ever come back here after living here? But I have a lot of photos, so I think they're going to want to do a trip pretty soon. Yeah, because I feel like in 20 years, probably a lot has changed. Yeah. You know, from that perspective, that would be so interesting to hear. Like, I don't think they had Pokemon when they lived here, so. 20 years ago? They should, they should have had Pokemon、oh, okay. 20 years ago. I might have exaggerated. They were here in the <laughs> late 80s. 
Wow, that's so that's so, more like oh 35, 40. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm old. <laughs> Anything you would like to improve about Japan? Uh, no, it's not my head. Happy with everything? Yeah, <laughs> uh, <cheese> balls. <laughs> Is there something that happened to you here that might not happen are traveling in your own country? I mean, the whole dynamic of travel here is like quite a bit different, right? Just because you have actual infrastructure in terms of like Shikansen and trains or just the rail lines in general. Yeah. So it, it just looks a lot different than when you travel in the U.S. You're either going to do like a road trip with your friends or like everyone's going to be loading into a plane. So okay, it's just very different from kind the get-go. Experience. Right? Yeah. Okay. Was it difficult for you to figure out no, the trains? No, not really. I mean, like the tickets are obviously confusing for us because they're all in Japanese, but like. Yeah. I don't know. I wow. guess the I guess the subway in Tokyo is really like three different companies, and you have to like buy yeah, the probably right. Probably seven uh, different companies yeah. or something. We, we did mess up the train this morning, sort of. Our friends really wanted to go to Ghibli Park, uh -huh. which is where they're at now. Okay. So they had to like rush to make a 6 a.m. bus, and yeah, because yeah. cool. they didn't realize the times didn't work out properly. Okay. So we we skipped that because it was too much of a hassle for you. And we just like the. Uh, I think I you did the right uh, decision. I've been to Ghibli Park a couple of times. <laughs> the onsen is better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, have you traveled to other Asian countries? Yeah. How do does it compare? Where did you go? I've kind of been all around. I guess Southeast Asia and sort of this area. I was in Taiwan for like. Four or five months, and then wow. sort of traveled all around um, nice. Cambodia, Vietnam, mm -hmm. sort of that area. Um, I, know, J I guess like Japan feels like one of the most like organized, very organized, police, very like efficient, efficient things are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's all from me. Thank you so much for your time. That was yeah. awesome. Yeah. Thanks so much. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Very much. Nice to meet you. My name is Lena. What's your name? I'm Alex. Alex and I'm Valerian. Valerian, nice to meet you. And where are you two from? I'm from the UK. And I'm from Singapore. And you're traveling together through Japan? Yes, we're here for two weeks. Cool, very nice. And how long have you already been here? One day. One, one day. Did you arrive here in Nagoya or when did Tokyo. you arrive? You arrived in Tokyo, you spent one day in Tokyo and now you're here in Nagoya. Yeah. Yes. I'm actually here for work. But what are you working as or what? What's uh, the goal here? I work in Fusion Energy and there's a Fusion Conference uh, just in Nagoya this week. Here in Nagoya? Yeah. Okay, cool. So um, from now on, you haven't been there yet? No, not yet. Okay. Yeah. Do you feel ready for that conference? Yeah, are you yeah. excited? After some food, you know, some rest will be good. Okay. Yeah. So how long are you going to be here for? In Nagoya for one week and then we're going to Tokyo for one week. Okay, so two weeks in total. And Will you have some time to do some sightseeing in Nagoya or is it just work? I think a little bit. So Alex works UK hours. Then she works from like 6 p.m. to 1 a.m. Oh, wow. So during the day. Yeah. I'm going to look around during the day. Okay, nice. Do yeah. so you already have some plans? Yeah, I want to go to the castle. Yeah, nice. I um, want to find some sushi. <laughs> yeah, Classic, very good. Japanese yeah, nice. Um, and there's a temple here as well that I want to see a bit of Yeah, stuff. okay, cool. Is it your first time in Japan for both of you? No, you for our honeymoon five years ago. So. Nice. Okay. So when you were here for your honeymoon, where did you go, or what was the most memorable experience? I love hotel in Gifu. <laughs> <laughs> now you need to tell me more. <laughs> you know, there wasn't much there. We were there to see like the, the autumn leaves. It's about the same time of year. So. Okay. Nice. It like, was the cheapest place on Booking.com. There was this place we said uh, no under 18. So, yeah, you know, no, no kids making noise. <laughs> Perfect, yeah, yeah. So, we ended up in this place which, you know, uh, we could only drive in. So, we had to walk in via the car area. We don't know. Got up to the lobby, there was no one there. But because we had booked on Booking.com, we couldn't check in via the machines. So, we had to very awkwardly wait around trying to get attention. Yeah, so we didn't realize there was a lobby until we got there, basically. Yeah, okay. Um, How was the hotel itself? Really good. Yeah, it was. It was very reasonably priced. It had like a, a beer um, tap on the bar. Beer tap in uh -huh. the hotel which was free. Yeah, wow. in our room. And room yeah. service was free too. We ordered like chicken karaoke and that was free. Nice. Okay. I've never stayed in a love hotel before, but experience. now that I hear your experience, it sounds like something yeah. you have to do once in your life. I think so. Yeah, it is. We did sure. Rio Khan as well. Yeah, which was amazing. Mm -hmm. It was nice to see two very different sides of Japan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we went to Kyoto, we went to Nara, it was great. Yeah. Nice! Because of work, you're staying in Nagoya and then you're doing one week Tokyo. Uh, have you been in Tokyo before? Yes. So, you, do you have some kind of like favorite places that you like to check out in Tokyo? I love Disney. Ah, you so love I'm Disney? Disney yeah. Planning on going again this time? Yeah, we went to one of the parks. I'm meeting collaborators for work, so 
Well, I mean, looking at us, we're going yeah, to Yeah, it would just be me going to... <laughs> you're going to enjoy this way more than he I is going so, to yeah. enjoy this time. <laughs> Maybe you just have to come back next time without having to work, both of you. But Definitely. Yeah. Some kind of favorite Japanese food? Uh, Alex is vegetarian, so that's oh, the limit makes of it harder. Yeah, but yeah. sushi always has good vegetarian options. Yeah? With um, and, you know, the and yeah. kappamaki. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. I love kappamaki, they're the best. We went to Nikko the last time, and Nikko, mm -hmm. there, you know, there's a lot of temples there, so yeah. go find vegetarian gyoza, which Alex really likes. Mm, um, nice. Normal gyoza is not vegetarian. You love waki, right? I love Wagyu, I can't afford it. Everyone loves Wagyu. <laughs> so I only buy once every time I go to Japan because that's like all the budget I can take. It's very expensive. Yes, yes. Since you've been to Japan a couple of times, have you picked up any Japanese? No. <laughs> very good one to know. <laughs> I mean, I, I know how to say Nihongo Gawa Karimasen. People sometimes think of Japanese and if I say yeah. Karimasen, they don't understand why I don't understand. <laughs> uh, and that, that, yeah, I'm not Nihongo. Uh, yeah, <laughs> impressed you most about Japan. Actuality of trains, like in the UK, the trains are late a lot of the time. Yeah. The train from Tokyo was so fast, mm -hmm. they're on time. Um, so yeah, I think How are trains in Singapore? They're good, but. They're good, but it's been in the city, right? It's been yeah. a lot easier to have transport between one city than it is, you know, from city to city. Which is yeah. A new port. yeah, that's a different thing as well. Yeah, that's true. From Germany, but in Germany, German like. Trains, we know. <laughs> they, no, 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 you don't know because they're not on time <laughs> ever. We have, uh, we have friends who. I have friends who. Um, He's working in, in, in um, Lausanne and his, his girlfriend is somewhere in, in Germany. Mm -hmm. And every time he visits her, he has, he has this huge nightmare. And he's Italian, he says that he doesn't expect German trains to be like that. Uh, yeah, you expect, yeah. <laughs> you expect it not to work in Italy, but you expect it to work in Germany and it doesn't work, unfortunately. But the autobahn is supposedly so good that you don't need it the trains. It is right? very good. Yeah. <laughs> is there anything you struggle with in Japan? I find it quite hard to navigate. Sometimes it's just yeah. very different. Everything seems to work with different sort of paradigm here, right? So if you go, you might not understand the language in Finland, but you expect the trains to work in sort of the same way in the sort of do. Right? Mm -hmm. But here it's a bit different, you know, like and there's limited express and the buy a separate limit ticket. Some, a small ticket. point, mm -hmm. right? You need to buy two tickets, which is untweeted. And there are lots of small things like that that take for granted. Yeah, it can be a little bit confusing. Yeah, but that's part of the fun. If you could bring back anything from Japan to your own countries, what would it be? Convenience stores. Oh yes. There's so oh, much yes. better. So you actually concerned today. <laughs> Kenton and convenience stores. Okay. The food. The food and convenience stores. Convenience yeah. stores is so good. Really good, good right? Yes. Yeah, exactly. But for you as a vegetarian, do you find vegetarian options at convenience stores? Yeah, lots of red bean things. Yeah, I love that it. Too. Yeah, it's really good. The seaweed wrapped rice. Onigiri. Yeah, yeah, onigiri. You get vegetarian ones of Yeah, that's true. That's true. For you, Shinkansen, uh, convenience food. store? The food, food in general. Yeah, just I mean, take because, it. You, know, you have Japanese food all around the world, but uh, yeah. not quite the same as it is. No, it's really, really good here. So, like, if I had the choice, I would also take the Japanese food back home with me. And yeah. it's like, it's the one thing I miss the most when I'm in Germany. Is, oh my god, <laughs> really good Japanese the, food. Are you here for the long run? Uh, yeah, I've been here for eight years. We are married and we live here. And yeah, go back to Germany at some point. I'm like, oh, some Japanese food would be nice right about now. <laughs> Did you have any kind of culture shock here in Japan? Not much beyond what we've already said. I think there's maybe some so nice. You might disagree here, but Japanese people are very polite. I think we should be more fairly polite. So then I think there's some. I think beyond, you know, obviously the food being very different, I think it's been much more efficient. I think it's not too major. Okay. Okay. Did you have any kind of opinion about Japanese people in, in particular, like before traveling to Japan and maybe after traveling here, your opinion changed or is it the same? Um, men here put more effort in dressing so you can, you can get better quality clothes. Okay. Um, whereas yeah, in Singapore in the UK, it's kind of not the case, which is less interesting for me. So I am quite vain. <laughs> have you had any kind of interaction with Japan with the Japanese person that kind of was memorable or that stood out? I think when we came here for our honeymoon the first time we went to this ryokan. Um, so we went to the ryokan and as we were leaving, um, the I think the owner learned that it was our honeymoon and he paid for like our taxi. Oh, nice! Yen. I was like, oh, wow. we should be taking this. Right? Really that's, that's very nice. Living in Singapore, I'm assuming you have traveled to other Asian countries as well. Yeah. And in comparison with other Asian countries, how does Japan compare? The difference between the countries in Asia. Um, we've only just moved to Singapore. Like I oh. moved two years ago. Uh, I was okay. in the UK for ten years. Okay. And because of our careers, um, we were apart for mm -hmm. two years of our marriage. So Alex oh, only wow. just moved last month. 
So we haven't traveled around that much, you know, China, Korea on our list. Um, mm -hmm. We've been to Indonesia mm -hmm. once or twice. Singaporean, I must say, I do like the weather in temperate countries more. So that's a huge plus. So you're enjoying the weather now? Yeah, I get to wear the trench coats that I bought. <laughs> uh, I bought this like eight, 10 years ago. And, uh, and never wear it. I'm mean, more in the UK, but not in Singapore. Yeah, right? okay, so right. it's, it's nice to bring it out. Compared to some other parts of, say, Southeast Asia, it feels very uh, yeah, like say, efficient, very orderly, more like Singapore, I guess. What Singapore. do you prefer as a person from the UK? weather-wise. <laughs> this kind of weather this time of year in Japan because you can wear like a jacket but it's not freezing cold. Yeah. So I think uh, autumn and spring in, in Japan but I think the summer is too hot probably and oh, yeah. winter is too it's cold hot. so it depends on time of year. Okay. So you enjoy the time now. Thank you so much for your time. You're very welcome. Do you have Thank like you. a YouTube channel or something we can follow? Yes. Yes we do. So how did you guys meet? Um, we were working at the same company in Tokyo actually so and we moved to Nagoya four years ago for you it's going to be the first time in Nagoya right yes yeah, it is. so after having spent a week in Nagoya and then you spend a week in Tokyo you can make up your own mind but for me personally I prefer Nagoya over Tokyo so much better here oh, really? <laughs> yes good, yeah I think yeah. the question happens that Nagoya is quite an industrial it is quite an industrial city but it's also quite compact, it has a lot of culture, it also has a lot of history. Any food places to recommend us? Of course! <laughs> to answer your questions, actually I can give you also my uh, business card oh, nice. because I do work in tourism here in Nagoya. So we do a website called Nagoya is not boring and we offer tours there but also on the website in general you're going to find lots of information about things to do here and what to eat and so uh, check it out and if you have any specific questions then I'm happy to help. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.